stage zero stage one two three and four so what how do we do our self our breast self examination there are two methods today breast self examination we have the lying down method and we have the in the shower method and the, when you are lying down you lie down on a flat surface on, on a very flat surface then you go you, your hands if you are doing your left breast if you are going for the right breast your right hand should be at the back of your neck supporting the neck then with your with your left hand you fill the breast like with the three part fingers like this the three part fingers you go then you feel the breast in a circular motion exerting some pressure around the breast you go round and round till you feel and you, you use your index finger and your top to hold the nipples of the breast like you squeeze it gently to feel if there's any change if there's any discharge if it is flaking or it is scaling up and if you notice any lump or any changes in the breast it is very very advisable to contact your healthcare professionals immediately although most breast lumps are not cancerous but if you notice any lumps any changes in your breast you contact your healthcare professionals immediately for immediate checkup but and, and you're, if you're going for the left breast you you, you you use your right hand your left hand should be at the back of your neck supporting the head but while lying down then you use your hand your right hand to to feel your breast in a circular motion exerting uh, uh, some pressures uh, and also if you can't feel if you're not sensitive to your three five fingers you can use your palm or you can use the back of your hand depending on how sensitive you are to your hands by using your index and your index and your middle finger by squeezing the nipple of the breast gently you squeeze it gently and when you are doing this self-examination it is very advisable to do it when your breasts are least tender because your hormone level as a woman our hormone level fluctuates every month during a menstrual cycle which may cause some change in the breast tissue so and you notice that because to some people their PMS may be like swelling of the breast or pain in the breast or some kinds of lumps in the breast this might not be considered it might be due to your PMS your premenstrual syndrome so it does why right. but during your period you notice that these changes like the swelling of the breast they will decrease in your period so it is very advisable you do this few days after your period you do your breast self-examination after some days after your period and if you're doing the shower method like you stand in front of a mirror then your hand you either your left hand by your side if you're going for the right hand your left hand will be by your side or you can also do it like this by standing because you know what, what doing the lying down method when you lie down it's, it's very okay the the breast the, the breast tissue tends to spread out it's spread out making it easier to detect if there is any changes if there is any lumps if there is anything if it is flaking if the nipples are flaking if it is scaling or it is peeling or if there is any discharge which might contain some kinds of redness or blood so it's very easy to discover so you you go hands like this. your hands should be at the back of your neck supporting the neck when standing in front of a mirror then you pick it up walk up a little ladder around the breast and then you come then you use either the three part fingers also to feel it in a circular motion around the breast all over the breast in a circular motion you go like this and if you're on this, you go to like this. After you have put in your soap, you have, you have, you have woke up your soap with your lighter, you put it on the breast and your fingers, then you go like this, like this. Then use your thumb and your index finger to squeeze the nipple. You squeeze it gently, not hard. You squeeze it gently, gently. Then to feel if there is any discharge or if the nipple is inverted or there is anything, if there is any changes in your breast and your nipple. And also to the guys, Please and please help us ladies, help the ladies out there. It is very, very okay for you guys to suck your breast. Because regular sucking, it, when the breast is being sucking regularly, it might prevent the chances of having breast cancer. The risk of having breast cancer will be decreasing. It's really decreasing. You suck it gently, not you over suck it. You don't have to do everything too much. You suck it gently, then you make sure it is being sucked. Then to ladies, please allow your spouse, allow your partner to suck your breast. It's very okay for our breast. It's for the prevention of breast cancers. So to then see you. Thank you for watching. See you then. Thank you.